Okay. So now that we have this correct problem that you guys helped you with, we are going to learn a few more or a few new words. Some of them you've already heard of. So if you look at this problem right here on the board, so everyone look at this. This is an addition problem, but it also has another name. It also has another name. Think, try to think if you remember. Think in your head. What is the? It's an addition problem, but what else could this be called? Does anyone have an idea, Lucas? Okay, yes, it is adding. Austin? What? Good job. Yeah, he's right. What did, did everyone hear what he said? Yeah. So this is a? Number sentence. Yes, it's a number sentence. So a number sentence, here's your vocabulary words up here. It's an equation using numbers and symbols. So here's my equation, right? And it has numbers. 7, 4, and 11, and it has symbols, a plus symbol and an equal symbol. So a number sentence, you guys are, have already learned this, but it's a, big, it's a big word. It has numbers, it's just like a sentence that we write, but it has numbers instead of words and letters. So now, we are learning something new today, and remember our objectives, these are the things that you guys will be learning. So everyone, if you could read this with me, this first one. Ready? I will add two numbers in any order and get the same sum. Okay, now let's read the second one. Two. I will explain how adding two numbers in any order does not change the sum. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to show you what this means, okay? So I'm going to call on four people that are sitting really nice and quiet. Okay, so I want Thomas and Jacob to come up here with me. Let's be extra good, okay? And Clara and Heidi. Alright. So, let's count how many students we have up here. One, two, three, four. There's four, good. So Heidi, I want you to go way over there by that chair, and the rest of you come over here. Okay, good. So, I'm going to come right behind you. Can you guys help me make a number sentence with these four kids? So they're separated, so that should give you a clue of how it should go. So let's see, what should be my first number? Why? And there's one of her, right? Only one mighty. Good. So one, oh, they almost gave it away. What's my symbol? I'm doing addition. So show me with the hands what the symbol is. Very good. Okay. Now who can tell me what should my second number be in, or my second add in, right? In my number sentence spelling? Why three? Yeah, there's three, right? Good. So, I want you to think in your head and blow it in your hand. What are the two add-ins right now? Blow it in your hand. Release. Four. What is that? So listen, what are the two add-ins? So blow it in your hand. Release. One and three. Okay, one and three. These are the two add-ins, right? And those equal something, they equal, blow it in your hand, three leaves. Four! Okay, they equal four. And this is our? Sum. Sum. sum, right? That's our sum. Very good. Okay, now watch this. Heidi and you three, I want you to switch places. So Jacob, you're over there with them. Okay, good. Now, oh my goodness. We're going to see what happened. So now, how should I make my number sentence? Ella, what should be my first number? Three. Three? How come? Because the three are three now. Okay. Um, what should be my second add-end? Austin? One. One. That's how it is. Just one over there, right? <laughs> okay, so since they switched places, this must be a different number. Right, Isabella? What is it? It's four again? But the but they switched places. 
So how, Fallon, how do you, how come it's still four? <coughs> yes, because one and three are still three, one and three, they just switch places, right? Very good. So that's what we're going to do today. That's, that's the math we're doing. So it, it seems pretty simple. Some might be tricky, but it's just the same numbers and they equal the same sum. So thank you very much. You helpers, you can sit back down. Okay, very All right, good. So we're going to um, look and see if we really did learn what we said we were going to learn. So let's read our objectives um, one more time. I will add two numbers in any order and get the same sum. So give me, so if you really, really understood this that we did today, then I want you to hold up three fingers. If you kind of understood it, two fingers, and if you didn't understand it, one finger. Can you show me with your fingers? How about three is really understand, two is kind of understand, and one is I didn't understand. Jacob, what about you? What? You didn't I add it. Oh, good. Okay, let's do this one. Ready? It's not an and, it's at the sum. Very good. 